Hello there folks, I'm here in Washington DC and uh, you guys may know this palm, I've made several videos on it in the past um, and uh, this is really one of the finest needle palm specimens in DC. Uh, not the largest, but certainly up there. Um, it is just, I mean, it's huge. I mean, it starts, you know, basically down at ground level, goes up well over, you know, way over me, uh, probably at least seven, eight feet to the top of this palm. Uh, just huge, I mean, look at the size of this. And not only does it have so many trunks and suckers here, but uh, look at the size of this main trunk. This main trunk goes up probably like close to four feet at least. I mean, so, you know, when you say needle palms aren't trunking palms, you know, it's, it's sort of uh, up for debate, I guess you could say, because this is certainly a trunk. I mean, look at the size of this. And you can see the reason it's named this, I want to be very careful, but you can see these needles, they're huge coming out from the trunk. Some of them, I mean, on the biggest specimens, like at the Arboretum, some of those needles are, you know, well over six inches, they're huge. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just a massive palm, massive trunk. The fact that this is all one plant is nuts. I mean, it's wider than it is tall, certainly, uh, at least 10 feet wide, maybe 11 or 12. Um, just a huge palm, and of course it'd be a lot, a lot uh, beefier if they uh, they didn't trim it. But of course they have to, since it's right up against the sidewalk here. But you can see all these little um, these little suckers with all the uh, so each each one of these new fronts emerging is a different sucker. So you can see, I mean, it's just like probably like seven here, just on the front side. I mean, there's so many different trunks; it's crazy, and so many suckers. But uh, this is just a really lovely palm, um, really really beautiful specimen. Uh, I, I believe someone said it was planted in the 90s. I may be mistaken about that, but certainly been here for quite some time. And um, just a really, really interesting, you know, planting spot. I bet they didn't guess it would grow this big, but it really is just looking fantastic. Uh, the size of these fronds is like, is insane. Look at the size of this, I mean, the fronds in this palm. It's just nuts. Look, look, look at this. It's crazy, crazy, crazy big fronds. It's like three feet. I mean, it's, it's nuts. Um, it's just a massive palm. It, it is... It is just stunning, and uh, yeah, I mean, we're right here on this main street, beautiful crepe myrtle here, just on this busy street in DC, and um, what a lovely specimen. Uh, just unbelievable, it just shows you what, um, you know, needle palms are slow growing, but of course, given, given time, they will become massive, massive specimens, and you can have, you know, beautiful palms up here, even in the northern, uh, in colder climates, which is just awesome. I just love seeing seeing these here, and it's just a testament to the fact that, uh, you know, we do have some palms that grow here, which is just awesome. Uh, over here, we got this beautiful uh, birds of paradise here. Um, this looks like some kind of cactus, I think. I may be mistaken, but some cacti actually do have like leaves. Um, you can see it's like the spines on it, very cool. And then this I've seen out here for a number of years, and sometimes it's not out here, but right now they have it out. They should really plant it, which would be awesome. Um, maybe I could talk to them, but um, they've got this beautiful uh, wooden palm here with very drooping leaflets. Um, in a pot there and it looks like it's getting quite big for that pot so this really should plant that because i think it'd be a great spot and in fact just down the street there's another needle palm with uh where they used to have windmill palm there the windmill palm sadly it survived the 2014 freeze and then i guess it died the following winter or something so it, you know it was a survivor but i guess it eventually died but they have a beautiful needle palm in that yard and there's a choya in the yard next to it a massive choya so stay tuned i'm gonna make another video right after this on that and then that'll be coming out shortly so stay tuned for that but yeah i just want to share with this with you guys i think it's a pretty pretty special palm um and uh you know, the size is just, you know, hard to comprehend. It is just huge, uh, just awesome. Take care, folks.